Good morning, children. Today we are going to learn your English reader lesson 15. It's a poem written by Edward Lear. Edward Lear. The title of the poem is The Duck and the Kangaroo. The Duck and the Kangaroo. That is in your textbook page number 115, 150. Okay? All of you take a textbook and turn your page 115 and take a pencil or pen along with that to underline the new words. Are you ready? Shall I start the lesson? Okay. Now let's see who is this poet. What is his name? Edward Lear. He was born in 1812 and lived till 1888. He was an English artist, illustrator, musician, author and poet. He is famous for his Nonsense poetry like The Owl and the Pussycat and The Duck and the Kangaroo. He also wrote many lime tricks, funny poems with five lines that became very popular. Okay, now come to the lesson. See that in your textbook you have beautiful pictures there. You have a picture of kangaroo and a duck. And if you look both of their feet you can see something similar. Can you tell what it is? Yes. Both creatures have what kind of feet? webbed toes. What is that? Webbed toes. That means the fingers not just like our fingers or toes. We can change each finger or we can move it one after the other. But for the duck and the kangaroo all the fingers are joined together. That is why we called it as a webbed feet. Okay? Is it clear? Okay. Now, shall I go to the poem? I said the duck to the kangaroo, Good gracious, how you owe Over the fields and the water too, As if you never would stop. My life is a bore in this nasty pot, And I long to go out in the world beyond. I wish I could hope like you, said the duck to the kangaroo. This is the conversation between the duck and the kangaroo. Okay. What did the duck say to the kangaroo? Good gracious, how you hope. Okay. What do you mean by hope? Jumping like. Okay. Over the fields and the water too. As if you never would stop. By hoping it, we can see that it is never stopping or never finishing. My life is a bore. In this nasty pond. Nasty means smelling very badly. The pond is with the dirty water. And I long to go out in the world. Beyond. That means beyond this pond, I want to go out. I wish I could hope like you, said the duck to the kangaroo. Okay, so the word nasty you underline in your textbook and also good gracious. Okay, good gracious. Good gracious means it is very express and surprised to see how you are hoping it. Beyond the field or over the field and be off 
over the water too. Is it clear that first for, for first lines? Okay. Now, shall I repeat once more? I said the duck to the kangaroo, good gracious how you hope over the fields and the water too, as if never would stop. My life is a bore in the nasty pond and I long to go out in the world beyond. I wish I would hope like you, said the duck to the kangaroo. Now, coming into the second stanza. Please give me a ride on your back, said the duck to the kangaroo. I would sit quite still and say nothing but quack. The whole of the long day through, and we had go to the dee and the jelly bowly. Over the land and over the sea, please take me a ride, Odo, said the duck to the kangaroo. Okay, shall I repeat again that stances? Please give me a ride on your back, said the duck to the kangaroo. I would sit quiet still and say nothing but quack. The whole of the long day through, we had to go to the D and the jelly bony over the land and over the sea. Please take me a ride. Oh do said the duck to the kangaroo. The kangaroo to the kangaroo, the duck is telling that. Please give me a ride. And I will sit on your back very quiet, very calm. But only thing I will quack, I will make the noise. The whole of the long day, okay, the whole day I will sit very quietly on your back. And we will go to the dee and the jelly body and over the land and over the sea. Please take me a ride. Oh do, said the duck to the tank. Is it clear? The, again and again the duck is requesting the kangaroo to give him a, give the duck a ride. Shall I go to the third stance? Said the kangaroo to the duck, this requires some little reflection. Perhaps on the whole it might bring me luck. And there seems but one objection. Which is, if you will let me speak to so bold. Your feet are unpleasantly wet and cold and would probably give me the rheumatism, said the kangaroo. Okay? What did the kangaroo was replying to the duck? Said the kangaroo to the duck, this requires is some little reflection reflection means it is very careful okay careful way it is very serious okay when i think it is a serious things perhaps on the whole it might bring me a luck more than that it is a luck for me to take for a ride <coughs> and there seems one objection objection means there is one reason to disagree with you which is if you let me speak so bold, uh, how boldly you are talking it, how courageously bold you underline. Okay, bold. Bold means courage. How courageously you are speaking to me. Your feet are unpleasantly wet. Underline the word unpleasantly. Uh, your feet is not at all good because it is very unpleasant. And also very cold. I feel cold. And would probably give me the rheumatism. And if you will sit on my back for a long time, what will happen to me? I will get a rheumatism. Rheumatism means rheumatism. Okay, underline that word. Rheumatism. So, the kangaroo was giving many reasons to reject the duck.
Okay, shall I read again that chances? Sit the kangaroo to the duck. This requires some little reflection. Perhaps on the whole it bring me back. And there seems what one objection, which is, if you will let me speak so bold, your feet are unpleasantly wet and cold, and would probably give me the rheumatis, said the kangaroo. Okay, is it clear for you? So, I have one objection that your webbed feet will keep it on my body for a long time. What will happen to the kangaroo? The kangaroo may get what? Romanism or fever. Okay. Now, see the next stanzas. Sit the duck as I sat on the rocks. I have thought over that completely. And I bought four pairs of worsted socks. Which fit my web feet neatly. <coughs> And to keep out the cold, I have bought a clock. And every day a cigar I'll smoke. All to follow my own dear true love of a kangaroo. Ah, the duck is again requesting. And as I sat on the rocks, ah, the, can, the duck is telling that from the pond I will sit on the rock for a few minutes. Then my webbed feet will completely dry it up. Then I bought four pairs of worsted socks. Worsted socks means, underline that word, that is woolen socks. Okay, woolen socks. Which fit my web feet neatly. Ah, it will be very tight for me. So it will not feel cold for you. And keep out the cold, I have bought a clock. Clock means a rope. Okay. So that will use for him to use. Okay. And every day a cigarette I'll smoke. All to follow my own dear true love of a kangaroo. So please give me a right. So now coming into the last dance. What is the action of the kangaroo? Said the kangaroo, I am ready. I am ready. All in the moonlight pale. Okay, pale. P-A-L-E, pale. Okay, all in the moonlight. Pale, you underline. That is a light in color. A light in color. Okay, the color fades. But to balance me well, dear duck, sit steady. And quite at the end of my tail. So away they went with a hope and a bound. And they hoped the whole world three times round. And who so happy? Oh, who was the duck and the kangaroo? Okay. So the kangaroo was telling to the duck, I am ready to take you for a ride. So how happy the duck will be, isn't it? Yes. Okay, when they are going in, they are going to the moonlight and also the daytime. But the kangaroo is telling to the duck, you have to balance very well because I used to hop very fast. You should not find. So sit on my top very steady. Sit steady. Okay. And quiet at the end of my tail. And you should be very careful. And you have to sit only at the end of my tail. If you go at the end of the tail, what will happen to the duck? The duck will fall. So away they went with a hope and a bound. And they hoped the whole world. How many times? Three times. Okay. So they hoped and went all around the world for how many times? Three times. And who so happy? And who? Asked the duck and the kangaroo. Who all are happy? The cow, the kangaroo also happy. And also the duck also happy. So they both had a fun time. And they hopped around the world for how many times? Three times. Okay. Now did you enjoy the poem? So this is the poem you have to study 
and also how they were enjoying when the friends joined together having a fun time okay so always we should have a friend to join with us whenever we will go for a journey like this okay now let me ask you one question the duck hated the way the kangaroo hop true or false the duck hated the way yes or no no okay false it is false the kangaroo didn't want to take the duck for a day that is also false the kangaroo didn't want to take the duck for a right false the duck fell off the kangaroo's back false okay so that all three sentences given in your textbooks are false okay now go through your poem and learn it again and study the new words and its meanings